Okie dokie, everybody. You're here at the Fox Den with Peter Voss, the Papa Fox, and we're going to continue playing Kingdoms and Castles. I got the title of the game right this time. Haha, <laughs> bet you didn't think I'd do that. Okay, where we last left off, we had started getting our era towers down, and we're going to eventually turn this into a nice uh, uh, wall here. We had gotten more of our industry going, as well as a path to iron. Now, the only other iron on our map is right here and right here. So eventually, we're going to have to branch out, and um, I think we're going to keep this as... Uh, some of our uh, uh, wood... Well, we might want to have some more uh, foresters out here, but we might actually turn... Ooh. You know, I might be... I might turn this into a gate, and we might eventually make a bridge across here. That'd be perfect. That'd be just wonderful, because there's a lot of good farmland right here. And we can put a nice uh, wall here, with the farmland on the outside. That's what we're going to do. Okay, unpausing. And everything's proceeding in pace. Yeah, we had uh, we got a huge amount of resources done and uh, filled in last time. So that was that was fantastic. That was just wonderful. Castle. Um. Hmm. Mm, Forty for a gate. Hmm. I'm going to have to save up for that because I really, really want a gate. Uh, let's see if this is usable. Oh, we can! We can make a quarry here. You know, because we have to use so much stone, I think we're going to actually add in a third quarry. So let's get a road to this place. industry and a quarry and we just want to make sure it's connected via a road because people actually travel faster on roads <laughs> I know weird huh <laughs> yeah so this is another game where you can actually spend a little bit of time talking about the mechanics and and what what it means as far as the what is what this game is trying to accomplish um, you know, given how short I have these videos, it's kind of tough to do that, so I don't know how much I will be doing of that. But it is nice to do. Uh, only one? Aww. Oh. oh, no churches or libraries? Oh, okay. Okay. You got it. You wanted a library? You'll get a freaking library. Let's go ahead. Connect that to a road. And town. Oh, insufficient resources. That's going to cost a lot. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, there went all my stone. Good thing we're going to get a uh, third quarry up. Oh, man. But yeah, as far as the game mechanics go, uh, these city builders are always interesting to look at. Um, I mean, from a mechanical perspective, and I've mentioned this when it comes to Banish and, and a few other things, but these characters literally don't have much agency. Um, now, in Banished, you actually, your characters had less agency because you could command them to do stuff. So these characters have a bit more of a self-opinion than Banished does, which is quite interesting. Um, one of the games that I really like is called uh, Majesty. It's the fantasy sim game. I'm doing air quotes <laughs> at the at the microphone. Um, but all of those characters, you had to persuade them to do what you wanted them to do, and you had to figure out which types of characters would go after bounty flags or exploration flags and that kind of thing. Um, so these things, these types of games, will actually tell you a story about. How, what values are put into the game? Um, like this is very much a you know authoritarian kind of a thing because you, the player, you are commanding them to do all of these things, and there's not much in the way of feedback except for happiness. So, oh, waiting for a lot of that stuff. I'm pr pretty sure. 
Mm, I'm pretty sure that's going to reach almost everybody. And that's, that's, ooh, we can give him a tavern, a tavern. Mm, yeah, that's going to, that's going to get everybody. It's going to take up an awful lot, but, you know, oh, wait. We already have a tavern going. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. <sighs> uh oh, uh oh. Uh, shoot. Does this reach? Well, that reaches. So, okay, there we have a little person with a bucket. Let's actually. We're gonna eventually want a second. Oh no, no, this is terrible. Oh, they can get water from the ocean. Well, that's nifty. Unfortunately, we've lost these two places. So, that really blows. Huh. Saving up for a gate. This is going to be a gated community. Ah. Oh, no. Demolish. 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 So we're going to have to spend our time and hard earned resources getting this figured out. Okay. Down. Oh, no. Not enough wood. There we go. Okay. And there we go. <sighs> Fire, why did you have to do that? Nobody wanted you to do that, so why did you do it? They're not, they're not going to answer me. It's fire. <laughs> this isn't Dungeons and Dragons where you have fire elementals. And it's going to cost 15. We're already getting uh, quite up to speed on stone. I wonder if we can probably put a Forester's Lodge here. So let's actually, let's actually try to do that. We're going to get a Forester's Lodge. We're going to put it up here because this has a fairly, fairly small range. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Nothing new. Nothing new. Nothing new for me. I suppose I could probably, um... Again? What the bloody hell? <laughs> Okay. Um, town. Industry. Jeez Louise. Oh my god, I know you're unhappy, but I'm I'm building these things as fast as I can. Okay, let's get that cottage going. Or hovel, excuse me. Oh, wait, no. Town hovel. There we go. And let's get that Forester's Lodge going. Dislodge. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna have revolting peasants. That's terrible. Luckily, this is only waiting for uh, 22 wood, and we have most of that wood slated for it. No one's available to work on new construction. Let's close down some of this stuff. Alright, okay. So we're going to get more people working on the construction. There. You happy now? Oh, zero happiness. No, they are not happy. They are not happy. <laughs> mm. Yeah, eventually I'm going to have to do some research on what the optimal layout is for happiness buildings and, uh, um, and uh, you know, dwellings for our people. So that will get quite interesting very fast. Let's go ahead and get that going. 
Please, happiness go up. Please, happiness go up. Most of you should be happy. Uh, yeah, we have all the things we need. Yes, one happiness! <laughs> oh, dearie me. Dearie me. And that one's almost done. Boom. Okay. Happiness should be going up quite fast. Yeah, yay, little happy faces. Little happy faces. That's what I want to see. Who's a good peasant? Okay, that was a little patronizing. Castle block. We're just going to slowly build this tower. It's going to be, or this, not tower, this uh, wall. It's going to be kind of low, but I want to get it at least set. I'm going to open these back out. Open. Right. I know you're miserable. I know you're miserable. But it's it's getting better. It's getting okay. You know? That's just how it goes. So, cool it. Cool your jets. Cool your jet skis. Or you'll be done skis. And kicked out of the village. <laughs> right. You know, uh, one. Of, uh, this is also another thing I was mentioning in Banished. Uh, and this game is a fun game. I, I really... I, I don't know exactly how how much replayability there will be. But it's, it's, the aesthetic is quite awesome. But one of the things that I wish um, they might include, at least in later patches, is different types of buildings. Um, or different uh, cultures being displayed. Uh, maybe each would have like their own specific advantages or disadvantages. Or, or like maybe you could have a European style village in a, uh, a rainforest or a desert or a swamp, and so on. Um, or like an entirely landlocked area, and you get uh, um, uh, raiders coming in on horseback or on foot. But it would be interesting to have that ad added onto. Um, now, obviously, this is an indie company, and and they might not have the like the resources as say the company that made Age of Empires or or Sid Meier's uh, Civilization, but it would be interesting to work on, especially since you have such a good template already for all of this stuff. You know, it just it seems like it would be. Um, it would be good, uh, a good policy. It, it would allow you to uh, tell uh, many other different types of tales. I could definitely see how that would be like... Uh, maybe maybe it could just even be a mod. Mm. So, there's that. I, again, you know, this isn't me complaining about the game. The game is perfectly playable and fun. I just... It would, it would be nice to see something more. You know? And you could play around like each of these uh, little little characters. Uh, it's fairly amorphous, but you do see they have like a particular type of skin tone and everything. I think I think we actually got no, yeah no 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 we got some different types of people here. But it would be nice to uh, um, see them in a different type of village setting. So I apologize for jumping the gun on that uh, on that uh, uh, assumption. You know what they say when uh, when you assume you make uh, mules out of uh, you and me. So I, I do try to keep my language somewhat PG because I you know I want people to uh, to be able to watch this and not have to worry about oh my god he said something really bad at work uh, because I I actually do uh, while I'm doing data entry and stuff like that I I do pop on either a podcast or um, or a let's play and just you know every once in a while I'll flick my eyes to it so. You know, as you do. Uh, bed 76, 58. Okay, so we're good on space. That That is not an issue. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and toss them a town square. Um, let's put that right here. Why not? Why not? You know? And then we can have the gate here. Um, we can we can go out one one further, and we can have the gate, and we can have some more uh, uh, people buildings in here. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
<laughs> Sorry, I love playing around with the clouds. It's just so satisfying. Yeah, looking back on it, I probably shouldn't have placed my uh, keep here. I probably should have placed it out here, much closer to the iron. In fact, that's what they had probably intended with all this uh, lush, fertile uh, farmland over here. But again, oh, and you know what I didn't do? I didn't put the alarm. So we're actually going to uh, cut the episode off right here. Uh, I hope you've all enjoyed. <laughs> Feel free to leave a like or comment or even share the video. You know, of course, I, I do appreciate feedback. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing. Uh, it's always nice to see you all here at the Fox Den. I hope you'll uh, come back and pull up a chair next time for some more Kingdoms and Castles. All right. Take care. Bye.